Breaking news, Delta 2023, why I won't accept your candidate, Okoa tells Ibori. Hello, my wonderful people. There is a big matter going on. We all know of Onanefe, James Ibori, a man who was one of the first governors when Nigeria returned in 1999. He ruled for seven, uh, beg your pardon, eight years. Afterwards, this man... He's supposed to bring leadership in no small way because he's a Delta and a real Delta man who the people are expecting that since you have understood what we are going through, use the money that is allocated to the state to bring, bring development in no small way. However, what we heard around the corridors of that man's life was that there was a lot of embezzlement, just like we see in most of the politicians. Embezzlement, not be small matter, not be for kids, so that they embezzle left, right and center. At the end of the day, now UK they for arrest this man. He and Okowa, the incumbent governor, now they are to get problem. Why? Because everybody won't bring in candidates. Now the matter where they where they hot up, where they heat up the scenario, be this one. Let's get all the details. Delta 2023. Why I won't accept your candidate, Okowa tells Ibori, governor of Delta State and leader of the People Democratic Party (PDP) and the state senator Ifeinwa has told his former boss, the ex-governor, Chief James Ibori, the reason he would not support his preferred candidate for the party 2023 governorship ticket. Ibori and Okowa had met after the national chairman directive, uh, but there was no conf confirmation that they had reconciled their differences on the governorship and the governorship ship candidate who would succeed the incumbent governor though the governor was understood to be making effort to reconvey a fresh meeting to enable him Ibo and Ibori possibly his predecessor Dr. Emmanuel Dwaga reappraise their position before the primaries. There is no indication that he would change his stand on Ibori's candidate. However, Okowa is known to have generated a guaranteed governorship aspirant and stakeholders that under his watch, the party will hold a free and fair 2023 primaries and has made no pr pronouncement or on his own preferred candidates. Report yesterday that Senator Aye and some governors of the party would visit the state today, nevertheless triggered social media speculations that there was crisis in the state and the national chairman is at the head of the delegation to settle the rift between Okoa and James Ibori, an informed source said there is absolutely no crisis in delta pdp the governor has guaranteed free and fair election the the national chairman senator Aye, and others are coming for mr ndidi empowerment program for the consultation uh, on what's next for Niger for Delta youth. There will be protocols, demands, and the governor will be hosting. The governor, as, uh, as of today, has not told anybody who he's supporting with the governorship aspirants that have indicated interest. Stakeholders meeting at Abu at Asaba, he warned that people should stop using his name to deceive delegates like any other leader and member of the party. Do not forget that he was his constitutional right to support any aspirant of his choice, which he said he would do on the day of the primaries. So this is James Onanefe Bori. That is the man who, I mean, when he had the opportunity to serve as a governor, you know, after, like I said, after he finished serving the United Kingdom, when they looked how much and how the level at which this man, you know, the, the money that was meant for the state, what the man did, they were shocked beyond reasonable doubts, you know, money that was sent to the United Kingdom and what have you to buy properties in his name and everything. And they were like, wow, Nigerians, there is no decorum. There is no real basis for audits to be able to understand, you know, and for people to be able to give, you know, words to say this is what this is. 
you know, at what level? How do we check progress? How do we check corruption? What are parameters? How do we drive these things to ensure that some of these things do not become, you know, the order of the day to destroy the very emblem of what we believe? Okay, our democracy system is. However, James Sinanefo Ebo researched some J terms in the United Kingdom. Some of the money he took away, when the money came back, that's the money that was supposed to be for Delta State. The Attorney General, of course, you know, confiscated that money. And in Nigeria, again, like we said, no decoron. So that money now is in the hands of the Fulani, money that was meant for Delta State. So there is this carcass, you know, uh, James Onanefe Bori, then to Emmanuel Dwaga, now to Ife Inwa. There's this way they rotate the thing within themselves. James wants a preferred candidate. Uh, you know, Ife Inwa is saying, no, no. You can't tell me what to do. I'm a boss of my own too, you know. You don't tell me what to do, okay? I know what to do. If I want to do it, I'll do it. If I want to support a candidate, I'll support a candidate. You don't tell me the candidate to support. You know, so these are some of the things going on. And my, my brothers, not be smart, you know. Men, don't they vest, matter, they, you know, they tie rapper things, they happen. Well, James, on an FA Borina, so the matter they be, oh, he want a particular candidate. And guess what? If that candidate come, you know, say, now waiting in talk, the candidate go do. How data state go take better? How things go take better? How life go take good for people? Now, some of the things where we they see, oh, now some of the things where we they see, now so Nigeria just be. You know, even Buhari said, don't they tell people, you join the race, you not join the race. People come, they wonder, eh, Buhari, you say, now democracy. Of course, you are constitutionally, you know, uh, entitled to support any candidate of your choice that you may want to support. However, you are not the one to call the shot. Okay, you don't say, I am going to support Mr. Lagbaja and so every other person must fall in line. It doesn't work that way. Sadly, in Nigeria, these are some of the things that goes on. And when you look at it, you are wondering, how did we get here? Why so much deceit? Why is there no decorum? How come there are really no other systems in place to ensure that some of these things are checked? You know why some are in abject poverty in the same country, some are in lavish, unprecedented. When you think when you see what they are doing, fear of God self will catch you. That is the disparity because there is no order. So the poor are extremely poor, the rich are extremely rich. But what? Two spectrum of the same, you know, of the same thing. And that's why Nigeria is the way it is today. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Do have a fantastic day. Bye for now.